first thing you're gonna need to do is to learn how to create a good quality product, a good quality design. Uh, for example, make one great design which is going to be basic and a foundation for your portfolio. Second, you are going to need to create a portfolio, meaning uh, some of your works that will represent your skills and uh, quality of your work. This will also help your client to understand uh, what potential result he will get if he's going to work with you. And the third and the final step is to register as a freelance designer on a freelance website and post your portfolio there and find some clients. A lot of people when they are starting out they think that they really need this super high modern portfolio with amazing works and that's why many people don't even start because um, the thing is that the design is also about you, it is also personal and the best thing that you can do here is to show you, is to show your unique uh, way of doing things, unique way of creating, show your unique, maybe a little bit weird style and um, not try to create like somebody else but be yourself. So you don't need this super high modern portfolio with amazing works. You just need to have a good enough portfolio with good enough works that will represent your way of creating. This is not a place where you're gonna get. Uh, I mean, as soon as you start creating and thinking like what I'm gonna get from this if I'm gonna do this design, um, people will know, clients will, will feel it. They will feel it through your works, through you, and um, they will also really feel when there is more like I'm doing this design, I'm creating this project and uh, sh sharing my talent and my skills uh, just to help your brand succeed. And that's when magic happens and uh, you can get even more than just a payment, you can get a positive feedback.